Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I wanted to address an important topic. It's important because we are talking about your life and the lives of others that are going through societal narcissism at this very moment. Not just the one-on-one -on -one narcissism that most of us faced. And what did that narcissist we faced do? They tried to convince us we were losers. They tried and in some cases put us in financial bankruptcy. And in some cases. In many cases really. They prevented you. Or made situations so difficult that you weren't able to do what God commanded you to do. And that is to be fruitful and multiply. So I want to backtrack and talk for a moment regarding this channel. And other channels out there for that matter. There were a few of us that started way back when talking about narcissism. And the many things that surround it. And go back. Take a look at some of my videos here on this channel. 300,000 views. 100,000 views. And the channel was starting to grow. Key word here is starting. And were our others right in the same position? I remember. Ollie. Talking about one time how he was going to make YouTube his full time job. And I was speaking and thinking along the same line. Here I found something I was good at. And I could make grow. And possibly get to the next phase of life with. By simply speaking the truth and trying to help others. Now with that said. Just like many of us. Though things took a nose dive so to speak. We are still here and speaking the truth. Because we know what is right. And we feel like we have to speak up. But with that being said. What happens if people that are speaking the truth and they are growing. Growing in all areas of their life. Such as being in a situation where they could indeed make YouTube their job. Well we got to see a glimpse of that regarding channels that came before us. That also spoke about real life issues. They grew. And they influenced many. Because they were able to spend all of their time and fly from place to place. Because the fruit from their work allowed them to do this. And the more they worked. The more they grew. And the more people took notice. And now a great many of these people are gone from this type of work. Why? They had families to support. Mouths to feed. And the devil knows this. And so does his narcissists. You see. They know. If you are allowed to grow unchecked. It will spell the end for their evil agenda. And that's why. That's why they try to curb every decent thing you try to do. Every talent you have ever had in your life. Let me ask you a question. Were you born with some sort of talent that your narcissist parent never allowed you to take part in? Did you ever wonder why that was? Yes. Sure. They were jealous of you. But that wasn't the complete reason why they made absolutely sure that you got not only no help with this talent. But they made sure they were going to put every roadblock in front of you as humanly possible. And the reason why is so you wouldn't be able to find great life opportunities and that you would one day wake up and escape. Because. If you have financial means and the ability to discern. You can do a lot of great things that don't include anything beneficial for the narcissist. Namely. Escaping from their toxic home. But on a societal level it's even deeper. They know if you are able to have children. And you are successful. And another person that has love in their heart and a heavenly father in all aspects of their life. And they have children. And so on and so forth. The world will start to quickly change. Not slowly change. 
but quickly change. From evil to good. From bitter to sweet. All in a short period of time. And they know this fact. And it scares them. It literally scares them. They cannot let certain people have a happy life with children and a family. One of the subscribers talked about the family court laws. And it's spot on. Because since these laws have been put into place, the family has year after year fallen completely apart. So much so there is no family unit anymore. And you have podcasts with people talking about dating and interviewing their guests. Guests with extremely shallow thought processes and that only see people that they are dating as money and objects. Further showing the fruits of Satan's tricks and scams he has played on society. This is why I say, pray, pray, and train your body, train your mind, and put your best foot forward. Because you don't know when God has a blessing for you right around the corner. And if he chooses to bless you, you want to be able to enjoy that blessing to the fullest. God loves you so much even though you have been through a lot of pain. He has seen and knows your suffering. The suffering that Satan and his narcissists love to laugh at. By asking questions. Like. Who hurt you? With a giggle and a demonic laugh. Ignore them. Step back. Do not engage them. And let God guide your life. And have the fantastic life that God wants for you. A life where you are using your talents. Even if it doesn't seem like a lot. It's your talents and gifts that God gave you to use. That's all that matters. God promised us that our time will come. So please be of good courage. And if your courage is shaky at the moment, pray the Heavenly Father gives you the strength you need to endure and overcome. And to do His will. You are not a loser like the narcissist once said. You are blessed and highly favored. By the Most High our God. The Heavenly Father. Pray that God speaks to you and your heart. Pray you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Pray God will lead you away from the narcissists and evil and towards Him. And pray the lost will be able to do the same before it's all too late. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.